Hello and welcome back to the Colorful Foodie channel. Today I want to share with you a pasta that I made last night or a healthy twist to a pasta. If you're not familiar with the spiralizer, it's a kitchen tool that you will get very familiar with in this episode where I make a spaghetti butternut squash spiralized pasta. I'm going to use my spiralizer, you put the squash through here, you rotate, comes out this way. There's different types of spiralizers nowadays, but I'm going to use this one and I will use the spaghetti blade. I like to call it the spaghetti blade, but it's really the fettuccine blade because this one's the spaghetti blade. It's the smaller one. I want. The but if we really want to be objective about it, this is the six millimeter as opposed to the three millimeter. So there's that. Before I run it through the spiralizer, and I'm not going to run the bottom because there's a hole in between. And of course, by whole, I mean that the seeds are in the center of this, much like a pumpkin or any other squash. And that's why we don't spiralize this portion. And after peeling the whole squash, I'm going to cut the bottom as well as the top because we need flush surfaces to run through the spiralizer. So the top of the squash should look like this, and then we cut the neck like so. Nice top and a bottom, and you can save this later. I already have plans for this tomorrow morning, possibly. But this is what you want it to look like before you use it. Kind of hook the squash to the spiralizer and hold it in place, like so. It's a hard... And then you rotate, and you will see the other side. Doesn't it look like fettuccine coming out the other side? I absolutely love the way it looks. Healthy pasta, coming your way. My helper over there is making some bacon. It's going to go really, really well with this um, squash. And at the end, you can slide. And it slides right out and it looks like this. Now you can include this or you can use it later for anything else, but it's just I'm crushing two garlic heads because that's going to be the base for my seasoning. Wait, this is not a head, right? A head is like the whole thing. What is one of them called? In Portuguese, we call like one of these a tooth, a um dente de alho. So we use two teeth. Does that make sense? Anyway, we're going to add the chopped garlic because I chopped that garlic. And I'm going to saute it. A clove! Oh my god, <laughs> I'm losing my mind. This is a garlic clove. But now you learn that we call it teeth in Portuguese. In Dutch, we call it what? A toe. A garlic toe. That doesn't make sense. The teeth totally makes sense. The clove even more sense. And the head, everybody. Now I'm slightly sauteing. You can use a little bit of the bacon fat if you like. Or olive oil, which I prefer. Now, the butternut squash pasta is raw, so we're going to lightly cook it. Going to add a little more olive oil over the top. You can turn it, make sure all surfaces of the squash pasta get cooked through. So I'm probably going to have to cook it for about five to eight minutes, turning it ever so often at really low heat. I'm gonna let it And while that's doing its thing, I'm gonna chop off a little bit more, even my Kalamata olives and some sun-dried tomatoes for the toppings. All chopped up, I'm going to add those in there so they can start marrying the flavors into the pasta. And mix it all in, but to me it already looks so great. Smells amazing, I'm so excited about this. And although it might be hard to see on video, you start getting the hang of which ones are cooked. Like these are cooked, so I'm going to put them on top and leave the uncooked on the bottom. Now if you're a carnivore or if you like bacon, it goes really, really well with the butternut squash because, well, it's kind of sweet. So the saltiness of the bacon is going to... It's really going to add something to the butternut squash pasta. And you can just chop them coarsely like so. Now we're going to add that to the pasta. 
bacon and butternut squash. It's kind of like a match made in heaven. Now, of course, you can easily keep this vegetarian, right? Just like by not adding the bacon. So, yeah. So, right now, I really just want to have a bite to see what it tastes like. But I honestly don't want to share this with him. Is that bad? So good. Oh my God. I'm going to add some chopped parsley because um, this could use some freshness. Why not? In goes my parsley. It's basically ready. Look how pretty it looks already. Oh, I love the colors. And just because you're cooking it, it doesn't mean it loses its shape. It still looks like pasta. It's so amazing. I always get amazed. Ladies and gentlemen, my butternut squash spaghetti dish. Plated and adding some parmesan and a little bit of red pepper flakes and perfect. So this is delicious. You need to make them. I hope you enjoyed that as much as I enjoyed making it for you. And if you did, don't forget to hit like and subscribe to the channel as well as to colorfulfoodie.com. Make sure you click on the link below. Don't forget to leave me a comment and keep it colorful.